I just love cats. So of course, when it was time for me to make videos with AI, I had to jump straight into cats. Some of this stuff turned out awesome. And some of it, uh, you know, not so much. Like, what was that? I also brought some of my old SDXL images to life. And let me tell you, that was a lot of fun. But this video is going to be all about the new stuff I made using my consumer grade laptop with an 8 gigabyte GPU to make 4K resolution videos. I'm going to tell you, it takes a while. You got to be patient, but I'll share my comfy UI workflows with you just in case you're interested in giving it a shot. Welcome to Tech Multiverse. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of gross. I don't know that I'll do that again. Let's kick this off with WAN 2.1, which is where I got started. I was digging around their paid website and obviously ran into my inspiration for using cats. I mean, this was an easy swap. I just traded the prompt from Capybara to cats and gave it a shot. But I figured I should at least try this prompt on my local machine to see how it turns out. I knew it was going to be crappy. And it was. But this little guy. This is when I got inspired to start kicking things into gear and spent weeks trying to make more of these. This one was awesome. There's just a tiny flinch in the skateboard at the beginning. Otherwise, the dynamic movement of this was just amazing. This is another favorite. I carry this around on my phone. I have to show everybody. This is great. But then, you know... Most of the time you end up with this kind of thing, and it's just completely unusable. And you can see the times going by. It takes a while to find out whether or not it's going to be weird or not. And I stuck with four second videos, and I flipped between FP16 and the FP8 scaled model. And what I found was that the lower the resolution, the crappier the results. The higher resolution, you know... <laughs> It's okay, but then your GPU gets tired, and then you look. I mean, this is what you get. This this was supposed to be whales. Um, and the thing that I kept dealing with was constantly running out of room on my hard drive. And to be honest, the composition wasn't always that great using text-to-video. Eventually, I switched over to the image-to-video FP8 scaled model. And the images weren't always that much better, but they were far more consistent. And it usually only takes about 25-30 minutes for a video, but you have to plan your motion. Like you can't have a whale come out of the water when he's starting mid-air. And I gave up on trying to get cats to come off the ground with the images. So you just have to balance what you're after, whether you use text to video or image to video. There's pros and cons. From my experience, image to video is the only way you're going to get decent 4K video. Due to the number of screenshots I take, I normally do videos like this one you're watching in standard definition. So I made a separate video with 4K that's just the video so that you can get a feel for how that actually looks. And while I was working on that, there's a new player that came into town just last week, and that's called FramePack. And FramePack has a different architecture, and they actually claim that with a 6 gigabyte GPU, you can create minute long videos. <laughs> That's insane. I literally jumped and was like, what? As I read that, I couldn't wait to give that a shot. So I shut everything else down and checked out what they were all about. And I went and gave it a try. I will say that it's using the Hunyan model. I don't know how to say that exactly, but, um, eh, you know, I kind of like one better for image to video, but you know, I guess each model has its benefits. If you go and try it out, you can go to their GitHub page and use the uh, link that they have. They've got a package set up. I promise they have um, a security issue. They've only been out for a week they, where they actually get an alert where your computer's like, this is a threatening package. I've looked at the files. These bat files just set up the environment so you don't have to. So if you want to give it a shot, it runs the Gradio UI and... Uh, you can give it a try. It's actually really cool. It's very clear that they like dancing. And cats on skateboards do some very strange things. Let's just say that. Um, like, whoa. But I'm going to keep playing with it because it does some pretty cool stuff. So we'll see where it goes. As promised, I'm going to share my comfy UI workflows with you. They only run the WAN 2.1 models, um, text-to-video and image-to-video, and then I've got some upscalers in there. Uh, you can, you know, it'll just have all the descriptions in there. 
you can go to my GitHub page and download them. It's just the JSON files. There may be some co uh, custom nodes that you'll need to download because these are modifications from other people that I've gotten is just to make sure they work on a lower VRAM machine. Uh, that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. If you want to check out the article on my blog, you can go see that at uh, t... 13e.com and I'll put the, all the links and everything in the description for you. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.